Sports on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282 or toll free at 888-545-9282. Your state, your home, your voice. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 837. We're back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. We'll do our need to know things coming up a little bit later on here in this 830 half hour. We have another traffic and weather update coming up for you at 845. Congratulations to our winner earlier today of our fantastic prize pack, all the snacks and all the goodies to get ready for the game on Sunday. And she's now in the running, of course, uh, for the $100 gift certificate and that brand new television as well. Why? Because at the Super Bowl, as you know, everything is huge. It's the best teams. People love the commercials. And just the the amount of data and social media access that's going to be happening at the game on Sunday is really going to make history. Here with me this morning on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline to talk about the tech fans, the tech plans for the fans that will be there with their smartphones at the game on Sunday is Brian Meekham. He's the architect behind Verizon's network prep for the Super Bowls. Uh, Good morning, Brian. Welcome to WCTC. And uh, no pressure for what you do, right? Uh, It's another piece of cake, right? Like a walk in a park. Hey, Bert, when you prepare as much as we do, things tend to go well. So good. I do appreciate you asking. Good for that. you, man. Congratulations. Uh, to prepare for the amount of data that's going to be coming out of Minneapolis on Sunday, uh, walk us through what it takes to get ready for this. Yeah, I'll tell you, it takes us about two years. and We've got to work pretty hard to prepare all the areas because you have airports, you have hotels, you have the stadium itself, you have the Super Bowl area where they activate down in the Nicolette Mall, as they call it here in Minneapolis. It's, uh, it's something that you have to work for a good solid two years to get built out. So what we've done is we've added over 500% capacity with permanent, going to leave it all behind, new upgrades for Minneapolis and St. Paul and the entire area. Over a million visitors in 10 days. Wow, very cool. Now I'm wondering if this is a relatively new stadium where the game is going to be held, and they knew that the Super Bowl would be played there eventually, Brian. Did they do anything building this stadium, say, look, uh, let's be prepared. The Super Bowl will be here in a few years Let's make sure we have an infrastructure that could handle it. Or did you guys have to come in and make even more upgrades? Yeah, I'll tell you, this is probably the most advanced stadium in the United States. So this stadium has over 1,200, 1,200 antennas. It's the largest. It has exclusive handrail antennas. It has under-the-seat antennas. It has drink rail antennas. I say exclusive for Verizon. Uh, it's the first NFL stadium that has something called matzing balls. So up on the top, on the rooftop, you can uh, broadcast down onto the stadium so that the the first responders, so that the, the people who care for the teams, the support people, the teams themselves, they all have access to data. It doesn't matter where you go in the stadium. It used to be in the olden days, you do it, couldn't have coverage everywhere. Now we got you covered no matter where you're outside that stadium. That's really awesome. And when you look at how far technology and football have kind of gone together, I mean, the, the first Super Bowl wasn't even bothered to be recorded because neither network that carried the game said, ah, this isn't going to last. Let's not even bother. And you look at where we are today, it's uh, it's pretty remarkable. And just the fan experience alone for this, Brian, has got to be just uh, incredible. As somebody sitting there with either an Eagles jersey or a Patriots jersey, what's the experience going to be like for them? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to talk to you about terms of usage. So let's put that in perspective. In the past, people would go maybe a few texts, maybe a phone call. Now they want to post and they want to snap and they want to be able to stream. They want to check updates. They're constantly on their phones. In, in Super Bowl 49, when the, when the Patriots played the Seahawks, about 4.1 terabytes of usage. So put that in perspective. Uh, then in Super Bowl 50, when the Panthers and the Broncos played, seven terabytes, okay? Wow. The next one, the big one, when New England and Atlanta played, 11 terabytes. I'm going to tell you what that means. 11 terabytes is the equivalent of one person binge-watching HD video for 265 days <laughs> nonstop. That's 11 terabytes. We expect more for the next one. This one that's coming up here Sunday, bigger, more usage, more than 11 terabytes. Sounds like me with uh, with Walking Dead lately and, uh, and catching up on all the episodes <laughs> there. But uh, uh, there's even there's a lot of other even purposes uh, for this too, Brian, and this is great work that Verizon is doing, obviously. Things like public safety and, and helping out small businesses in the area. Even after the game is played and the dust settles, and uh, I'm a Jets fan, so you know who I'm pulling for, the city and the stadium will still ha- be able to benefit from you guys, right? 
Yeah, no question. I appreciate you highlighting that. We're there for first responders. It's a big deal to us that when you make that call that it goes through. And so we're going to leave all of this technology behind. It's LTE advanced. It's great for customers. It's next-gen services with small cell densification. We're working with smart communities to try and help them with cameras so that the first responders will have access to that. All amazing tech, all of it stays. We invested heavily for this. We want everybody to have a great experience. Fantastic stuff. Brian Meekham's my guest. He is with Verizon, and he's the guy. No small task. Make sure that the stadium can handle all the social media demands for the Verizon network there. Uh, and just to make that fan experience as great as it can be. Uh, if I recall, there's a trend, Brian, when it comes to the World Cup soccer tournament, that as soon as a game ends, social media goes crazy because people brag around the world that their team beat uh, beat the other team in the soccer match. Do you see a lot of that as the game is going on, particularly in the markets of, uh, of Boston and, and Philadelphia? Are you expecting to see a lot of uh, uptick in terms of social media activity there? Yeah, we do. You know, uh, it's also associated with big plays, though. Big plays, halftime, end of game, all of that big explosion on social media. Uh, you remember that big, exciting game where the Eagles, I, I know they beat the Vikings, but do you remember when Stefan Diggs caught that pass? Oh, and sure. Had that walk-off touchdown win? Yes. That game alone exceeded Super Bowl Forty Nine. <laughs> so just one playoff game, boom, everybody had to post about it. Remarkable stuff. Uh, do you have a preference, uh, Brian, as to who you're pulling for? you pulling for either side? Well, listen, I used to live in New Jersey, and this might not go over too popular, but when you look at reliability and what my team has to do, I like teams like that, and so I'm pulling for the Patriots. Those guys are reliable. You can count on them in the big game. That sounded like we're having some phone uh, issues there. It sounded like you said for the Patriots, (laughs) Brian, uh, just just to confirm. Oh, that's okay. Hey, you know what? To each his own. That's okay. And uh, Rich Eisen, who does a daily show on WCTC, he is there. Of course, he's, of course, the face of the NFL Network. He does a daily radio show for us every day, and he also is in Minneapolis. So uh, there's a lot of cool things going on here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Where can people go uh, maybe about uh, some information about network upgrades or maybe more information on on Verizon as a whole, Brian? What do they do? Yeah, no, I appreciate you asking. So it's really simple, verizon.com. If you want to look at what we're doing at Super Bowl, verizon.com forward slash news. Nice and easy, forward slash news. We'll be sure to take a look at that. And I'm due for an upgrade in July. Uh, any any early favorites uh, for when I'm ready for my new cell phone in about six months? I think you got to look at the size. You go in there and you test drive a few of them, whatever's comfortable for your pocket, what you like. Uh, there's a lot of great options out there right now. Awesome. Really good options. Awesome. I'll check it out. Brian Meekham uh, with Verizon. Hey, enjoy the game. You do get to stay and watch the game for all this hard work you're doing, right? I, I do from my command center. There's over 150 people, so three times the size of a football team of my folks out there trying to make sure that everything's going to run well. I'll be in the command center watching, rooting for those Pat. All right. Well, good stuff. Good talking to you, Brian. Uh, have have fun, and uh, thanks for the great information today, and uh, hopefully we can talk again, all right? Thanks, Bert. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Take care. All right, Brian Meekham with Verizon. Yeah, no big deal. It's, uh, you know, terabytes of data. Just, just make sure it gets out and gets to where it needs to go.